Hey guys, my name is Maria, I'm an illustrator and character designer from Turin, Italy. I have been working in this field for about four years now and I have been teaching online for about the same time. <laughs> you may have seen some of my previous courses on Skillshare or other platforms. I usually focus on tips on how to draw digitally with uh, Procreate, as I'm gonna do today, or with Photoshop CC. In the past, I've been doing mostly um, rather large courses about the fundamentals of drawing, or uh, how to draw a full character in my usual Disney-esque kind of style, uh, starting from a photo reference. But today I wanted to do something uh, a little different. Something that is, I think, very good for people who are just starting out in the digital art sort of sector, or even for uh, experienced artists who might want to try a slightly different, fun style. I'm talking about chibi. <laughs> This class is going to focus specifically on how to draw chibi characters either for fan art or for personal commissions or for sticker sheets. The uses for chibis are really quite endless and I think they are all equally cute. The reason why I started drawing chibi characters is because of commissions and also because of fan art. I am an avid reader and watcher of TV series as I think are most of you guys and because of that I do draw a lot of fan art in my free time. Some of the fandoms that I've been most active with in the past have been uh, fantasy series like uh, Wheel of Time or Game of Thrones or the Cosmere saga by Brandon Sanderson. Honestly, I just think it's super fun <laughs> to do. And if that's, you know, if that's the reason why you want to take this course, that's perfectly fine. It's a really good reason. If you're an artist and you offer commissions, that's also a really good reason. I illustrate books and create concept art for animation and gaming but in between those bigger projects I usually open up commissions from time to time and in the past two years or so the client work has become so demanding that I don't do it as much so when I do do it I have found that if I offer chibi commissions to my clients I can offer them for a lower price than I would my usual style commissions because they are faster to draw but they are equally appreciated by people because they are cute you can translate the same likeness to a photo reference to a chibi character um, that you would to a more realistic character and that's exactly what i'm going to do in this course in my case i'm going to pick a reference of the k-pop band blackpink i'm going to show you guys how i go from that photo reference to a chibi character that is uncannily similar to the actual person in real life and you can apply this knowledge to real people so if you want to offer it as a gift to a friend or a family member or you can apply it to fan art if you want to create a sticker sheet of all of the characters of a certain series that you enjoy as for the tools i'm going to be using um, an ipad actually this is a first generation ipad with procreate you can use studio clip paint you can use uh, photoshop cc to take this class it doesn't really matter the only important thing is that you have a digital drawing software to use i guess that's all for now and i'm gonna see you in the next video see you there